Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. I'm starting a new series with my new gadget, with my Note 9. And um, I'll create a playlist which is going to be called LOD. Basically stands for Linux on Dex. And um, I will start testing various apps and settings and etc. and software inside the Linux on Dex. So this is the first video on this playlist and we are going to go and install Linux or enable Linux on my deck station. This is uh, what you see right now is not Windows XP, it's just a, a nostalgic wallpaper for my Linux, um, for my deck station. And at the bottom, as you can see right now, there is an icon Linux on Dex, which is um, I signed up for Linux on Dex beta program quite a while ago and then received this file. But sadly, like I mentioned in the previous videos, um, my phone, my Galaxy S8 Plus, wasn't supporting the uh, Linux on Dex and after I posted my first video where I was trying to get uh, Linux uh, on my Galaxy S8 Plus I've been contacted and offered to get the Note 9 so thank you everybody thank you to you uh, who sorted that out for me right okay let's start so sign up for beta program and I received an email with a link I believe it was a link oh no it was a link to the Google Play Store for me to download Linux on Dex so if I go to the store to the store I'll be able to search for Linux on Dex Linux on Dex and here you go you install this and that's it um, I installed this on my Galaxy S8 Plus, but sadly because this phone is not supported, it was saying that uh, the phone, what's this called? Basically, it just the one install. But this is Note 9, it supports Linux on Dex, so I was able to install and run it. So, how to set up Linux on Dex? I will open up, and when you run the first time Linux on Dex beta at the moment, uh, you should see the basically a white pages, nothing here. So it says no Linux on Dex containers and etc. If I click plus sign, it gives me the option to set it up. So right now, let's go and set it up. Obviously, I don't have the file for Linux downloaded, or what I mean, like a, a virtual disk um, file is not downloaded yet. So what I need to do, I need to click download from server. It says, do you want to download from server using Wi-Fi? Yes, I think I am on a Wi-Fi. Let's double check. Yes, I am. Get get the latest Linux images. Images. So blah blah blah. It gives you a reading what you actually need to have, uh, or what your phone spec needs to be to be able to. Uh, and also, you see Linux on Dex optimized for ARM 64-bit architecture. You need the Wi-Fi. It's a big file. It's a quite chunky file. It's about 3.5 gigabytes or something. And it says here yeah, Linux supported currently on Note 9 and Tab S4. So we go. Uh, default username is going to be desktop. Dex top and the pass will be secret so don't tell anyone and then load the Linux image and zip the file open the Linux Dex app browse the for this and create a container and this is the file you need to download so if you click download it's gonna start downloading the file as you can see right now is uh, 3.6 gigabytes of this file and actually it says version Ubuntu let me check because I already downloaded this file prior to the recording video so if I go there as soon as you run Linux on Dex it will create a couple of folders inside your phone one of them is called LOD and one is called LOD underscore share I will show what they can do in another videos or what LOD share means in another videos so under LOD I have the actual zip file downloaded so uh, Xenial Gnome with something 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 downloaded 27th of December and when I click on that it gives me option to unzip at the top right corner when you click unzip it's gonna start unarchiving or unzipping the file into a folder by the same name and inside there I will basically get this it says 2nd of November the file created let's see is that the most recent one um, I don't know. Let's click download. Let's see if it's gonna. No, it's, it's downloading the same one. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna leave like it is. So I go to my file. So basically, this is my zip file that you need to download. And when you unzip it, when you click once and you click unzip, it's gonna create a folder. And inside the folder is gonna be an image. 
So we have an image to set up. So I need to go back to Linux on Dex, click on a plus sign, and instead of download from server, we, you need to click on a browse. And when you click on a browse, it detects some of them. Obviously, I've got some from somewhere, the Laka image, but I need to click on the actual Linux file. So click on the Linux file, it's detected inside internal storage, LOD, etc, etc, etc. And I'll name this Mr. P LOD. Now I can choose the file or in the, the file or storage size for Linux. You see, I can go up to 85 gigabytes because that's my current available space on my Note 9. So I'll go and choose 20. If you leave 10, when you when you enable this and you go into Linux and start messing around, you will notice that uh, about nine gigabytes of storage already been taken by all the Linux programs, files, and etc. So you will gonna end up only with about gig and a half, around one gigabyte to one gigabyte and a half of storage for you to play. So I'll go and do 20. So I have 10 for operating system and 10 for my files. So I'm just gonna have, okay, this created, created, and I click create. So now it's creating and boom, it's done. So it tells me right now the container information, Mr. P Linux on Dex, 20 gigabytes of space. I can run as a terminal. So if I click this, it's gonna open up the actual Debian terminal. So as you see, I've got all these files here. So let's click exit. Delete, obviously will delete. Edit, you can change the name, might increase the storage if you want, if you see that is not enough and let's click save and if i click run it's going to go into linux on dex so let's give a second or so for this to run and boom i am in the linux on my dex station first thing what i would suggest you to do is write sudo app get update don't forget the secret password is secret and it's right now installing all these, uh, checking all the updates and updating the repositories and etc. So let's wait for this to finish. Another second or so. Bingo. And if I click up, I go back to the, the code or command that I wrote before. Instead of update, I'm going to write upgrade. So sudo upgrade. And it's do, do not asking me for password because I already entered the password in this terminal. And it says, do you want to proceed or continue? It's going to be additional. Um, need to get 257 megabytes of archives. After this operation, 16.4 megabytes of additional space will be used. I'm going to say yes, fine, because I have another 10 gigabytes extra allocated for my Linux on Dex. So right now it's just going and downloading all these files and etc. So let's leave it running and we're going to see how long and how quick it's going to be. So it's eight. So basically, uh, well, it's downloading. Just recap. Download Linux on Dex app from Google Play Store. Obviously, make sure that your device supports it. When you open this Linux on Dex app on your, on your Dex station, it's going to be blank. So you need to go to the servers and then load the Linux image that they have a link to the, the web page. Obviously, when it's downloaded, you need to un unarchive it and un unzip it, let's say this way, and then go back to Linux on Dex and point the app, Linux on Dex app, to that image and then set it up. And obviously, while it's running, I still can go to uh, my, um, well, I still can do all the things. So while it's running, a uh, quick just overview. I have a software in, in installing uh, software center. I have Chromium, Firefox, Visual Code Studio. This is, I do not know what that is, or this one. We can obviously cover all these and I will find out what they are in another videos. File manager, terminal, and just editor. And if I go to applications, I have all these applications for me to test out and see how they're working. And is it, uh, oh right, this is called Genie. Okay, science, LibreOffice Math, brilliant. I have an office here and I have a uh, under administration, software update, preferences, backup. Oh my goodness, so many good stuff here. So many good stuff. Disk usage analyzer. Let's click that. Let's see how it will be going. So as you see, I selected 20 gigabytes and already 9.2 gigabytes is used. So I have 
just over the half of free space remaining for me to go and play around. So actually I'm going to leave this running. So here you go. This is a quick setup of Linux and Dex. In another video, so we're going to start go deeper into this and I will start testing all this software, what you can install, what is not running, what is running, just basically whatever, what I do already on my, um, on my, on my channel, just testing Android apps and games on various devices. Plus I'm going to test Linux on Dex, on Android, on the phone, on the Samsung phone. It's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, like what I'm seeing now, it's already blew my mind, like how, how I can get a, a Linux running on my deck station. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video where we're going to go and uh, in another kind of feature what this suggests, because obviously I, I am a new to Linux, so I have no clue what all this does. I'm going to basically learn everything fresh and new as you will watching these videos. So whatever, basically what you will see for first time is basically I am seeing this for first time as well. So um, we're going to start by checking all these apps and etc. in another videos. Thank you very much for joining me in this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.